this is one of the best defensive schemes in college football 25, man. When I say you have absolutely great coverage out of this game, you do. And not only that, you can send some pressure with the blitzes we have out of this game as well. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit a like, subscribe to the channel. If you are new, click on notifications and stay up to date with all the videos. And let's get into this game right now. It's your boy, look back at you again with another video. And today, you guys, I got some more heat for y'all, boys, man. We are going to be going over the three, four, multiple. This is my favorite defensive scheme, man. And you can just do a lot of things out of it. And I'm um, basically just going to show y'all the scheme now. I'm basically running out of it. And it's very simple. I only run about like five plays on defense, but they are really effective. So the first one that we are going to get into is going to be the cover two, man. But before we get into that, you want to set some coaching adjustments. So what you want to go ahead and do, I like to put my cornerbacks by overall. I did used to do it by speed, but I'm not going to lie. Overall matters a lot. Um, now on college, in my opinion, every time you, you line somebody up that's fast and you don't have a coverage attributes, they don't really line up with uh, covering that well. But if you get over, like, a high overall cornerback and he's not that fast, he'll still like cover a receiver that's pretty fast as long as he's not like pressed. So we go by overall with that. I like to put the option defense uh, pitch key on aggressive. So, um, cause basically everybody who runs options, they, they pitch it out to the running back and you don't want to be caught lacking when you run into that. So you want to set down aggressive. And after that, you want to go ahead and set your curl flats to 20. And basically, you can leave everything else on default. Uh, so, the play is going to be cover two, man. This is going to be more of your coverage aspect with this play. So, we're going to go ahead and just go to like a random medium pass. Now, to set this play up, first thing you want to do, you want to put uh, your two safeties and curl flats just like this. And then after that, you want to go ahead and back off your corners. You want to play over the top. I like to pinch my D line. And I like to spread my linebackers just in case my opponent learns. But it does a decent job against the run. It isn't amazing, but it isn't terrible at all against the run either. And um, that time that was actually my assignment. But against a person, this this covers so good. So what you want to do is just put your two outside safeties on curls. If you're really good with your adjustments, you can just double tap, put triangle, and then press X and do it that way instead of manually doing it like how I'm doing it. But I like to set it up like this. And depending on if your opponent is running too, a lot of times you can shoot a gap with this linebacker, but it just kind of depends on uh, what your opponent is doing. So I'm gonna run this a few more times just so y'all can kind of see how it kind of works. Back them up, play over the top, pitch the D-line spread, the linebackers. And I set it up just like this. And then it does a really good job in coverage. And basically, yeah, uh, your responsibility is really just the middle of the field. And as long as you take the middle of the field away, a lot of times it's gonna take basically everything away because those curl flats are basically occupying everything. And when you back your uh, corners off and play over the top, uh, most of the time you're not gonna get beat over the top unless you just get caught on. Uh, your, your corners are usually always in the play. It's just whether or not they'll allow your cornerback to get like caught on. And a lot of times, when um, your opponent sees that as one-on-one -on -one and just throws it up, don't click on unless you feel like you have a great opportunity to kind of pick it because a lot of the times they will catch on you. So kind of just let the computer do it most of the time uh, because they will let your opponent kind of just mainly just catch on your head a lot of the time. So, so go ahead and run this one more time. But that's another uh, defensive setup that y'all can go ahead and run. And go ahead and see if I can get a stop for y'all boys real quick, see what we can do. And then I'm gonna go over some uh, other defense adjustments for y'all. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hike it. I don't know why number 45 is frozen. That boy is just, he's cooked right now. I don't know if y'all can see that, but. But yeah, that's the basically the coverage aspect of um, the man coverage one. Now moving on, I like to run this cover three match um, and cover three buzz match. And this is also going to be like one of those coverage plays that you want to go ahead and mix in. So all you want to do is just go ahead. I like to bring uh, this middle linebacker down and just engage with the old line. And usually I'll quarterback contain just like that. And then basically that's all I basically do for the defensive setup. Now I'll just go back out of coverage. And 
with these uh this defensive skin that I'm showing you, I got linebackers right here. Even while I was going over the uh the man cover scheme as well, you want to make sure that you have like kind of safeties in because a lot of the times like that I barely can get to it. But a lot of the times um you'll actually get an interception if you have a safety right there that's fast enough to kind of get there. But this is just another coverage aspect, and then we're gonna get into some blitzes too. Against the computer, it's kind of like they kind of picking it apart. But against like an actual opponent, yeah, you're basically gonna cook. If y'all want to see me do a, a gameplay with this defense too, just let me know in the comment section down below. But trust me, boys, it's cover three match. It covers really good. It does a really good job. And as y'all can see, that time we got some pretty good coverage right here. So we're gonna go ahead and move on. Not spend too much time on that. Uh, the next defense that we are going to be using is going to be the DB Fire 2. This is going to be one of our blitzes, but you can also set this up for coverage as well. Um, so DB Fire, go ahead and set it up. So what you want to go ahead and do with this play, boys, with the blitz version. I like to show blitz. And after you show blitz, all you want to do is take uh, your user and you want to blitz yourself. Uh, I prefer to pick the linebacker that has the least uh, amount of receivers on this side. So in this case, it would be this side. And I just engage with the O-line. But um, typically, if I can, I like to move this guy inside a little bit. Uh, then I'll engage with this uh, guard and then just run back out in coverage. Give it a second real quick, just like that. And as y'all can see, uh, it forces an interception. And um, this is one of my more favorite coverages too because you can do a lot uh with this coverage the versatility so i'm gonna show y'all the blitz one more time go ahead and show blitz move this guy on the inside and after that you want to go ahead and just blitz yourself this time we're using the right one because there's no receivers on that side and like we did just before you just want to engage just like that and um when you blitz when you blitz i mean there's going to be opportunity for your opponent to kind of um get yards you're just hoping that the uh, blitz gets there but the other setup that I'm going to be showing y'all too, um, you can, uh, I don't show blitz when I do the second setup, but what you can do, put R1 on a curl, put L1 on a curl, and with this, I like leaving, um, I like using this guy most of the time, but like I said, it just kind of depends on uh, how many receivers on this side. So it's two on this side, three on the opposite side. So your responsibility with this play though, the, um, the biggest weakness is deep across the middle. So you can put him in a deep blue, but unless you have a safety right here, it's not really gonna do much. So I typically just leave him there. And with your user, you just really gotta be paying attention. But other than that, it's basically like a cover two Mabel, and it's gonna do a really good job in coverage. So if we go ahead and run this real quick, as you can see. And um, also, when you're running this cover to uh, Mabel 2, I like to go ahead and set this up, but I actually got to show you guys. So going into um, your culture adjustments, you wanna set your flats to five uh, if you end up running that a lot. Uh, I don't run it a lot. I usually typically just run the DB fire a lot of the time, so I just kind of leave it on default. But if you know that you're basically gonna be running this a lot instead of the blitz, just go ahead and set your uh, flats to uh, five, and you'll see how uh, good the coverage actually is. So go ahead and let this play run out. Hopefully they hide the ball. But I'm gonna try to get some gameplay for you guys so y'all can kind of get a visual of everything. But as you can see, it does a pretty good job. It's more of a Mabel concept. So it's more if your opponent is kind of just throwing um, corner routes and stuff like that or throwing underneath jab routes is really good for that. Um, if you do feel like you don't want to take that risk with getting B across the middle, you can't always put him right here. Uh, like I said, I just recommend putting a safety right there. And then basically this is your whole responsibility, everything in the middle of the field. So we go ahead and let this thing run and play out. As you can see, the middle is going to be open a little bit more. But um, we gonna move on to some of the blitzes out of this formation too. So other than the DB Fire 2, I like running the um, out of the 3 4 out of pinch but go. I already made a video on it, but I just kinda wanna do like a full scheme breakdown for y'all boys. Uh, so we went over the cover two man, we went over the cover three buzz match. Uh, we went over the DB2 fire, the blitz and the coverage. 
Uh, so the pinch buck is very simple. You don't really have to do anything to it. Just go to random medium pass. What you want to go to do, uh, you want to press triangle and press R1 to show blitz. After that, you want to use this guy most of the time. And uh, you want to engage with the o and then you just kind of want to run out. And a lot of times it is going to be um, uh, good pressure every single time for the most part when running this. It's just like with any blitz, you just got to be a, be careful because you will have situations where you can get beat. So like this, I would just kind of just do a swap right here and just hover right here. You do that by a quick adjustment on your uh, linebacker. And um, just depending on what formation your opponent comes in, you may have to do that, but it doesn't happen often. So we'll go ahead and run this. As you can see, good pressure. Um, force the incompletion right there. But also with this formation too, I don't want to spend too much time on it. If y'all haven't, go check out my other video because we went over that really in depth. But also I like mixing in this cover for a drop with it too as well. And um, this kind of confusing my opponent. Right now they're in the MB, so I wouldn't re really ever run this against the MB. I would run the S thing blitz against the MB, but not specifically this cover four. Just because you can't base a line on this game like you used to. But typically with the cover four, I would just play underneath just like this and then play over the top. You press triangle and press the right stick down, press triangle and press the right stick up. And then basically this is gonna be the uh the setup for it. And this is really when your opponent sees that you're in band coverage and he's been hitting you with those little zed routes, the little drag routes and stuff like that. And a lot of the times this is going to um, basically just uh, cover all of those routes. Really, the only opportunity he really has is um, really just corner routes every now and then on the middle of the field. But even the corner routes against a cover four are pretty challenging. So uh, pretty good defense to kind of just mix in with everything. Um, with that blitz i know right now it doesn't seem like we're actually stopping anything so i'm gonna get y'all a gameplay too just so y'all can see how this defense actually works uh but that is gonna conclude the video boys y'all make sure to try this out and y'all let me know how it works for y'all like i said i'm gonna drop a, a gameplay video for y'all just so y'all can see that it works really soon just because the computer they kind of die everything up but i got one more thing that i'm actually gonna show y'all i'm gonna show y'all how to stop the run it's going to be the 4-4 split linebacker fire. And um, just go to like a random run concept right now. Uh, so with this, all you want to do is just put your outside linebackers or your inside linebackers on curls. And, and you want to use it as uh, safety right here. If you know that your opponent is running, you'll see how good that this actually uh, stops the run too. As you can see, he picks up about like two to three yards, but consistently, this is basically going to stop the run for the most part every single time and basically whoever is um is manned up to the running back or who whoever's the safety in the middle you kind of just want to use it him and you want to be the guy that's going to shoot the gap so you'll kind of see like right here i actually messed that up if we go to the instant replay i actually killed that um but we're gonna go ahead and run that back but i completely moved him out of the way if we go to the instant replay I would have stopped it, but I just whole miss and click him off completely. So, um, but you'll see that this play right here, it consistently stops the run uh, every single time for the most part, especially if you know that your opponent is running. I don't typically like running this uh, if I don't know if, if my opponent is running or not. That's where my other play comes in, that, uh, the cover two man, because it does a pretty decent job against uh, runs. But this is like that that run defense that it's going to guarantee you to get a stop if you know that your opponent is running. It just kind of depends on uh, what your opponent is doing, honestly. But, boys, this is going to conclude the video, man. I ain't going to uh, spend too much more time on this. But I am going to be dropping the gameplay for y'all boys so y'all can kind of see how this defense operates and everything like that. Uh, but y'all boys, make sure you hit a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Click that notification bell to stay up to date with all my videos. And it's your boy Alert. I love y'all boys. Y'all stay up. Y'all stay blessed. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. And peace.